Hey, hey, YouTube friends and fam, Cold Case Cause here. And look where we are. That's the spot right here where Suzanne Morphew's bike helmet and bike were found right here. I am literally standing on the spot. I got the GPS coordinates through um, a confidential source that's very credible and um, private investigator type. But of course, wouldn't you know it, I gambled with nature. They were only supposed to get a 40% chance of snow here today. And as you can see, the snow has rolled in before we could get here. We literally just pulled up and hopped out. And I was really hoping to be able to search this. The reason why we're here is because we're trying to find Suzanne Morphew's cell phone. And uh, the evidence we're following on that is uh, her cell phone last pinged right here in this area near where the bike and the helmet were found. And, um, you know, I don't know if that much search was done in this area right here, but literally, look where I'm pointing, y'all. Right here was where the bike was thrown and the helmet. I just want to show you all the country. But I was really hoping to get here because all the green is laid down before the snow and f look for this phone because it would have stuck up so easily and you know on this ground if the snow wasn't here and when you know we gambled with mother nature and we lost uh but you can still see a little bit we got the dogs out here um you know we're gonna go look up under these trees and stuff and uh i'm actually going to do an experiment um and i'm gonna i have a cell phone and i'm gonna chuck the cell phone you know from where someone would have been parked right up here I'm going to throw the cell phone as far as I can into the woods and then use that as like a marking point. If someone were to chuck it, you know, a man sidearm, you know, wing it from the road and wherever it lands, we're going to search that area. But, you know, underneath the trees and stuff, you can still see the ground and there, there's a few areas we can still search. But I'm just so bummed out because we've been driving for a long time to get here. And I had seen that they haven't gotten any snow yet here, so I just knew the green and all the foliage and all everything would have been laid down perfect. And anything man-made would stick out like a sore thumb around here. And uh, Suzanne Morphew's phone supposedly was pink in color from what Barry said in an interview. He said pinkish. So that's what we're kind of here looking for. Well, y'all, look, literally right here is where the bike was found, where the officer... Remember the officer found the bike and he was looking at it and stuff? It's right here. And this is highway. This is a highway right up here. Um, so there's a little pull out and someone would have pulled out right here off the edge. You just saw the car go by and just literally just chucked it, you know, right here. So, but I'm just so bummed because uh, they just got a couple of inches. And if we would have been here like early this morning... I bet we could have seen the ground pretty good. <sighs> but this is what happens in Colorado when you try to um, gamble with Mother Nature. I just wanted to show you all this is where the bike was and the helmet. So I was just going to look, see, so... In the summer and stuff, when people would have been searching, all this would have been green. These are all choke cherry bushes. You see these little? You can eat these. And they're actually pretty tasty choke berries. And uh, you can survive off of them. But all this would have been really green and, the, and real thick. So you, can't, you, couldn't have, you wouldn't have been able to see down to the forest floor. But now you can see through. But of course, there's freaking snow now. <sighs> Uh, I was so bummed. I had such high hopes of getting here and, you know, the snow melting quick and it's still being like clear ground. But we just, we we're a day late. If I would have left a couple days ago, which is what I planned to do. And of course, it all everything gets pushed back for financial stuff. and <gasps> Story of my life, y'all. But I just wanted to show y'all around where her helmet and bike were found right here and this is a 
there's a little creek down here that goes down and then this is a forest road that zigzags and goes down to the creek and i'm pretty man am I, I don't know if this is the road where barry was confronted on coming up this road um i forgot watching all the sh videos from back in the day but you know this is where everyone was worried about suzanne possibly quote unquote getting attacked by a mountain lion yada yada which is what bm was trying to say but man what a bummer it would have been so easy to see the ground here like two days ago so wouldn't you know it but anyway i hope you guys are doing good um having a nice week I was, the snow has rolled in super quick and uh, we took a gamble with it and definitely was a bad gamble. I've always said never gamble with mother nature, but I'm just looking like if someone were to chuck a phone from up here, it probably would have landed over here in these bushes, you know, like it could have hit the tops of the trees and fell down. So we're gonna look real good where we can still see the base of the because you see like under the trees and the at the bases of the trees you can still see the ground so maybe the great creator will allow us to find something but the snow is just covering everything up But this traffic on this road is a heavily trafficked road. So, like, he, whoever threw that bike was really taking a risk of being seen. It makes me wonder if they got they were seen because this is a heavily trafficked highway up there. You can see up there. I'll show y'all. So the bike was found right here, the right around these aspens, I think. 